Are you noticing new colors in what you cough up and wondering if your airways are trying to warn you? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're going straight to what your phlegm color and texture reveal about irritation, inflammation, or infection, and how to respond before symptoms escalate. I'll guide the key questions so you can use your own baseline as a practical tool. I'm Alara Sky. I'll walk through what different colors and textures mean, why sudden shifts matter more than any single shade, and how a properly diluted nebulized hydrogen peroxide solution can help when a viral trigger is driving thick, colored mucus. Let's start with the core idea, your baseline. If you rarely see phlegm and suddenly do, even if it's white, that change deserves attention. If you typically see a consistent pattern, but it darkens, thickens, or shows up more often, that shift says your airways are under strain. These personal patterns help you decide when to observe and when to act. Color can narrow your next step. Clear or white generally tracks with normal function or early congestion. Yellow often shows early immune activity rather than infection severity. As your white blood cells move into the mucus, pigment changes follow. You might still feel functional, but the color tells you your defenses have engaged and you should watch for any escalation. Green points to stronger immune activity and a more intense battle underway. It doesn't prove a bacterial infection by itself. It reflects a higher concentration of immune cells and enzymes in your mucus. If green appears alongside fever, worsening cough, or shortness of breath, take the combination seriously and monitor closely. Pink or red tells you blood is entering your airways. A single light streak can follow forceful coughing, but repeated pink or red requires timely evaluation. Brown often points to older, oxidized blood or long-standing lung issues and is seen more in chronic conditions. Black is rare but can signal fungal infection and calls for immediate action, especially if your immune system is compromised. Texture matters as much as color. Thick, sticky, or chunky phlegm suggests uncontrolled airway inflammation. People with asthma or COPD can form dense plugs when inflammation spikes, often paired with chest tightness, wheezing, or shortness of breath. Strong odors or visually disturbing brown phlegm raise concern for bacterial pneumonia and should prompt you to act quickly rather than wait. Phlegm forms because your airways are protecting you. Mucus is water, electrolytes, and proteins designed to trap irritants and germs. During irritation from viruses, stomach acid, or pollutants, you produce more of it. As immune cells flood in, enzymes and debris deepen the color. That is why yellow and green mirror immune activation, rather than automatically grading severity. Some conditions quietly drive mucus without obvious infection. If you live with reflux, your throat may produce more mucus to buffer acid, creating a sensation of something stuck. Recognizing that pattern helps you separate chronic irritation from a new infection and decide when a change from your baseline needs attention. When your symptoms suggest a viral trigger, sore throat, sudden fatigue, nasal burning, colored mucus, or a rapid change in how your throat feels, Nebulized hydrogen peroxide can help lower viral load in your nasal passages, sinuses, and lungs. The solution should be properly diluted to 0.1% using 3% food-grade hydrogen peroxide mixed into hypertonic saline. Mixing accuracy matters. Create the saline base by dissolving one and a half teaspoons of unprocessed salt in one pint of distilled or purified water. Dilute your 3% food-grade hydrogen peroxide into that saline until you reach a final 0.1% concentration. Never use industrial strength peroxide. Never use plain water. Your airway cells need electrolytes for comfort and safety during nebulization. If you feel stinging in your nose or throat, adjust the salt level to 0.9% by using one teaspoon of salt per pint. That reduction maintains antiviral action while improving comfort. Start sessions at the first sign of illness and repeat several times through the day so the mist reaches the areas where viruses replicate before inflammation deepens. Use a desktop nebulizer for best delivery. 
Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Each session typically uses about one teaspoon of the diluted mixture. If you travel frequently, work around crowds, or feel something coming on, having a unit ready lets you act as soon as your phlegm color or throat sensation shifts. You can also use preventive sessions during high-risk periods. One short daily session supports airway hygiene if you spend time on airplanes, in hospitals, schools, or in buildings with poor air quality. This helps keep viral load low and reduces the chance of sudden phlegm flare-ups that come from overwhelmed defenses. Simple daily habits support recovery when mucus is thick. Hydrate steadily through the day to keep secretions moving. Use a humidifier when indoor air is dry. Elevate your head at night if phlegm worsens when you lie down. These steps help calm ongoing irritation so your respiratory system doesn't shift into persistent overproduction. Know when to seek help. Any abrupt change from your baseline matters, especially if phlegm becomes darker, thicker, or more frequent. Colors like red, brown, or black deserve prompt attention, and symptoms such as fever, chest pain, or trouble breathing are red flags. Use your observations to communicate clearly and get timely evaluation. Here's your practical challenge. Over the next 48 hours, note your personal baseline, color, texture, and frequency. If a sudden change appears, apply the steps that fit your pattern. Hydration, humidification, head elevation, and if signs point to a viral trigger, begin properly diluted 0.1%. Nebulized hydrogen peroxide sessions early. Track what shifts and use that record to guide your next decision. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.